What is up guys and welcome back to some more NCAA 07 School Legend with Christian Okafor. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we got Christian Okafor and we are going to be winning the Heisman this year. If we take a look at the calendar, the two games that we are going to be playing today is Eastern Kentucky University and Purdue. This is going to be the year we win it all. We're going to win a national championship and like I said earlier, hopefully Christian Okafor gets the Heisman. In the preseason polls, Notre Dame is ranked number three in the nation. We are an A-plus overall, A offense, A-minus defense, and A on special teams. Looking at the preview for our first game, Eastern Kentucky University is absolutely horrible. They are a D-minus overall. Look for Christian to have a monster game today. I'm talking about unrealistic stats. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Eastern Kentucky Colonels and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. You've been waiting all summer and it's finally here, folks. It's week one of the college football season. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Fighting Irish are a confident bunch of kids and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Eastern Kentucky has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm picking Fighting Irish. Notre Dame's going to hit the offense first. We got that boy Christian Okafor, and this is going to be the start of his Heisman campaign. Just doing a quick cheese play down the right sideline. Christian Okafor is off and running, getting into enemy territory, and it is going to be like this all day. We are going to feed the nightmare. Okafor left side this time, doing a little spin move, getting all the way down to the 23, almost into the red zone. And now we're going to let him catch a pass or two. Okafor again on the screenplay, picking up almost a first down. We are now in the red zone, and it is time to do another cheese direct snap. Okafor bulldozing his way into the five. We are looking to put some points on the board. Going with a toss. Able to outrun the entire defense with that 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Okafor goes in for a four-yard touchdown. Eastern Kentucky's offense hits the field, facing a third and ten, trying to get the first down. They're not able to pick it up because of a sack by Coven. Notre Dame offense is back out onto the field with great position here. We're going to make sure we keep getting Oka for the ball in the screen game. Want to pick up those 100 yards today. I know I'm going to get my rushing yards, and we also want to make sure that this defense doesn't know what we're doing with Okafor, whether it's we're running it or throwing it. And then right before the end of the first quarter, we're just going to give Okafor the direct snap. Can he make it to the end zone? Can he make it to the pylon? He is able just to squeak in there. Second touchdown of the game, 24-yard touchdown. Eastern Kentucky look like they're trying to move the ball here, facing a third in inches. They get to the halfback who gets stonewalled by number 41, making it fourth and one, and they choose to punt it. Back out on offense, I'm looking to go deep with Okafor right here. I see he's matched up on a linebacker. There is no way that guy can hang with Okafor speed, and no one's around for the deep ball. Easy touchdown for Christian Okafor. The dude seriously caught a 80-yard touchdown pass. This game is getting out of hand pretty quickly. Eastern Kentucky just cannot get anything going on offense. Third and 14, they absolutely get obliterated by our D tackle number 92. With under a minute to go in the first half, we are looking to get one more touchdown. Okafor following his blocks is able to spring it for a huge game, getting tackled at the five yard line. And now that we're down here at the two, we're gonna punch it in just like we did with our first touchdown. Simple toss play, being able to outrun the defense with the 99 speed, easy touchdown. That is gonna be the fourth touchdown for Christian Okafor this half. Start of the second half, Kentucky now has the ball, trying to get something going down by 28. It is third and 17. Obviously, there's some confusion down on the field as the quarterback and receiver do not know what they're doing. Interception by Williams, the linebacker. The dude always seems to be in the right position at the right time. That is a pick six, 15-yard touchdown, 34 to nothing right now. Here is the one highlight for Eastern Kentucky this game. Third and 17, quarterback rolls out to the right, throws on his back foot, able to find a receiver across the field for the first down. Unfortunately, that's probably the last 
play that the quarterback is going to play this game because he ends up getting hurt and they have to bring the second stringer in. Number three, putting in a difficult situation. They're trying to get a play action pass right here. Going deep. Looks like they got a man open. It is tipped by number 21. Brown, 20, picks it. He is off to the races. He is going to score here. We end up bumping into our own man, but that's okay. He's got the speed to accelerate, and we are off for our second pick six of the game, 86 yard interception return. Eastern Kentucky back out on offense and they have their starting quarterback in the game, number 15. Unfortunately, they're still not able to get the first down as the defense gets the deflection. Offense back in business with great field position. We're going with the I formation. Okafor is just gonna follow his fullback who gets a great block and we're able to pick up a first down with ease. We're going to keep switching it up, though. Keep the running and the passing game going. This time, we're going to do a little screen. Okafor turns around. Another great catch. Fall on his blocks, and we pick up another first down. We are now in the red zone, and it is time to go for some cheese. Direct snap. Okafor, can he make it in? He gets hit at the two, but he's able to fall into the end zone. I don't even know how many touchdowns Okafor has right now, but it's a lot. Eastern Kentucky actually able to move the ball a little bit on this drive. It is third down, but the ball's on the 44. Trying to go to their halfback, not able to pick up the first down. It's going to be fourth. Do they punt it or go for it? They're deciding to go for it at fourth and sixth. Trying to get into Notre Dame territory. The starting quarterback throws it out to number seven, the wide receiver, but he's just a little bit short, getting tackled at the 50. Unfortunately for Eastern Kentucky, we have to keep scoring points. We're going to do a little option right here. Graham almost getting tackled, able to pitch it out to Okafor. Picks up the first down with ease. And then we're going back to the cheese play. Okafor at the 45, able to break. Loose all the way down the right sideline for the touchdown. Going in untouched, 42 yards. Bless Eastern Kentucky's heart. They can't just get anything going. Third and two, trying to go with the option read. Another takedown by the defense. And they're just giving up all hope. They're going to go ahead and punt it. But we're not done yet on Notre Dame offense, man. We're going to keep running the option with Graham. Pitching it out to Okafor, who's able to get down the left sideline. Got plenty of room to run. Makes one guy miss. Gets tackled at the three-yard line. And we are just going to set up the goal line formation and power it in. Okafor will not be denied. Another touchdown for the man. And thank goodness this one finally comes to an end because I'd hate to see it get any uglier. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, it looks like we called this one right. Eastern Kentucky didn't expect to win this football game, but they hoped to at least put a couple drives together and put some points on the board. That didn't happen because they ran into a defense that was completely dominant. Brad, they didn't even stand a chance today. This is Brad Nestle with Kirk Kirkstreet and Lee Corso. We thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time. Looking at the stats, Okafor, 20 carries, 236 yards, six rushing touchdowns, and he also put in a lot of work through the air on receiving six catches, 153 yards, and one touchdown. Talk about a great way to start your Heisman campaign. Back at the dorm room, let's take a look at the newsletter. The winning trend. Notre Dame's win streak is up to 13 games after their season opening victory. With that performance he had, he has got to be eligible for Player of the Week. Let's go ahead and look at the computer and go down to Players of the Week. And, yeah, there's your boy, Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, had no doubt right there. So, getting ready for our second game of this episode. We are going up against Purdue, and they are a little bit better of a squad, but they are just C's across the board. So, not much better than Eastern Kentucky. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We've got rainy conditions today for our game with the Purdue Boilermakers and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Fighting Irish are heavily favored to win this game. Kirk, do you think they'll have any problems today at all? Purdue has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. I gotta go with the favorite in this one. I'm picking Fighting Irish. Notre Dame hits the field first, facing our first third down of the game. Okafor just able to get the first down, doing a little spin move to the outside, picking up 10, and we are off and rolling against this Purdue defense. 
but they have been really good against Okafor. Another third down. This time it is third and 10. Going deep to Okafor, who makes a spectacular catch in triple coverage. I honestly did not think he was going to come down with that, but we have been working on his catching attributes. Getting down here at the goal line, another third down. Okafor able to bounce it to the outside in the eye formation, and we score a touchdown, but we had to convert three third down conversions on that drive alone. So this is not going to be an easy game for us to win. Purdue comes out on their first offensive series, and they've been moving the ball pretty well. It's now first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Doing a little triple option. They're able to hand it off to Smith, then pitches it to Thompson, who's able to pick up the first down. He finally gets hit at the 40, which causes a fumble. Herman picks it up for the Notre Dame defense, and we got a chance to put some more points on the board. But after that turnover, we have another third down that we're trying to convert. We're going deep to Okafor once again. And this time he is not able to make the catch. A little bit overthrown. Foster the free safety actually gets a pick. So now both teams have turnovers in today's game. And it is still 7 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Picking up action here with only two minutes to go in the half. Purdue trying to get a first down here. Hands the ball off to Smith. They get stopped by the Notre Dame defense, forcing a punt. Now it is time to see if the Notre Dame offense can go to work putting some points on the board before the end of the half. Little option to Okafor, who's able to pick up the first down with ease, thanks to Graham pitching in the ball. Next play here, we're trying to go deep, see that there's a linebacker on Okafor, should be able to get a touchdown right here, but he flat out drops it. And look at number eight, man, posing like he actually did something when in fact it was all Okafor, just dropping the ball. We're going right back to him. This time Okafor is pulsating, so that means that he should come down with it. Even though the pass was contested, he still ends up making a great catch down at the 15. If with under a minute to go in the half, little off-tackle handoff. Okafor is going to run down the left sideline, untouched for his second touchdown of the game, making it 14 to nothing. After halftime, the third quarter was a snooze fest. Neither team did anything, so we're fast-forwarding all the way to the fourth. Fourth and seven, five wide. Carson goes to the wide receiver. Mitchell, who catches the five-yard curl route and is able to turn it into a touchdown. Purdue cuts into our lead. It is now 14 to seven with that 38-yard score. Here in the second half, our offensive struggles continue. Trying to do the cheese play. Not able to get the block on the outside, and we are stopped facing a fourth down. Getting a little frustrated right here. I'm just going to go with it again with Okafor. Trying to do the off-tackle handoff, and, you know, at this situation, I probably should have passed it. Uh, turnover on downs. That is going to give Purdue excellent field position, and they got some momentum going on right now. Purdue not going to let this great field position go to waste. Third and nine with under two minutes to play. Carson finds his receiver for the first down, but it's a fumble. Can Notre Dame recover? No, Richardson for Purdue ends up recovering the fumble. Notre Dame defense gets Purdue all the way into a fourth and nine. Carson is pulsating. He's able to find his receiver on the slant route. Touchdown. This game is all tied up now, guys. 14-14. Now, there's no pressure here. This is exactly the situation we want to be in. Half a minute to go in the game. We're finding Okafor over the middle. Nice catch. He's able to pick up the first down. We are almost at midfield. We got plenty of timeouts. All we need to do is kick a field goal. So that's why we're going to run the ball a little bit with Okafor. Picking up another first down here on the right sideline. Getting into Boilermaker territory. Doing the same play. To the left, spin move, Okafor, picking up more first downs, able to get out of bounds so we don't have to call timeout. Now there's 11 seconds left to go. We still got one timeout. Little pitch to Okafor. Can he make it to the sideline? Can he get out of bounds? He is not able to get out of bounds, so we have to use our final timeout with four seconds left to go, setting up for a 36-yard field goal. This is a chip shot. Field goal's up. It is no good. We missed the field goal, guys. I can't believe I didn't angle my kick right. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Going into overtime, we lost the coin toss, so we're going to be on offense first. And we're going to keep this simple. We're going to keep giving the rock to Okafor no matter what. Able to pick up the first down with ease on our first run and play. First and 10 from the 15. Hand the ball off to Okafor once again. Bounces it out to the left side. Gets hit at the five, but he will not go down. He keeps turning his legs, and he scores a touchdown, and that is a record-setting touchdown. Number 74 for his career. That is a new NCAA record here in overtime, baby. 
Purdue's offense facing a fourth and 13. Here we go, final play of the game. If we get the stop, I'm playing with Smith. I get a great jump and I just explode off the line, getting the user sack and the game is over. You can chalk this game up as one of the best in this ongoing rivalry. We expected these two teams to go at it, but to have it go to overtime made it even more intense. You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival in today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Looking at the stats for today, we started off slow, but Okafor ended up finishing with 27 carries for 157 yards and three rushing touchdowns. He also chipped in four catches for 111 yards. So we still had a really productive game. Back in the dorm room, let's check out that newsletter. What does the article say? Great escape. Number three, Notre Dame slips past rival Purdue 21 to 14. Yeah, that was definitely a game that was a little bit too close for comfort. At least we still won, which means our national championship hopes are still alive. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I am the coach. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.